Revelation chapter 19 verse 10 And I fell at his feet to worship him But he said to me, See that you do not do that I am your fellow servant and of your brethren Who have the testimony of Jesus Worship God For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy So the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy we find that Jesus was speaking about the Holy Spirit to his disciples. He said, When I ascend to heaven, the Spirit of truth will come to you and will reveal all things and will show you things to come. That is who the Spirit of prophecy is. It's the Holy Spirit. It comes from the heart of God prophecy. We're talking about the triune God. And um, Jesus said he will take from what is mine, all that the Father has a mine, and he will reveal it unto you. And he'll bring all things to remembrance and show you things to come. That spirit, the spirit of prophecy, runs through the whole Bible. And at the centre of all prophecy is Jesus Christ. All prophecy will exalt Christ. If he doesn't exalt Christ and exalts people and men and angels, then it's not the true prophecy of God. And we find that in this verse here. That uh, John, because of the awesome presence of the angels, and that's what angelic beings are, they're, they're awesome. And, he, and they, they represent God and they bring the presence with them. And it would be quite easy, you know, even John as separated as he was unto God. He'd been under the teaching of Jesus, he'd been baptised in the Holy Spirit, used by God in mighty ways. When he got this awesome revelation and this angel ministering to him, he nearly fell at his feet and worshipped him. But the angel responded by saying... Um, see that you do not do that straight away the authority voice that don't do that you don't worship me yes I might be awesome in your, but I'm a messenger you only worship God I am your fellow servant and of your brethren who have the testimony of Jesus look I'm a created being just like you I'm not the creator do not bow down and worship me worship God he turned his attention to God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. For all born again Christians today we have the testimony of Jesus. But in these end times the prophetic element is coming through more. The spirit of prophecy is being enlarged in us today. The same Holy Spirit who brings the truth of the Bible and brings revelation knowledge through the Bible from the beginning uh, of Genesis right through to the book of Revelation is the same spirit. The spirit of prophecy who's revealing uh, uh, truths to us today about end time stuff. And so the whole book of Revelation cannot be understood uh, by, you know, calculating symbols and everything yourself. And trying to work it out and trying to puzzle things out. It needs to, it is revealed through, yes, study, comparing scripture with scripture, putting jigsaw pieces together is revealed by the Holy Spirit. But it, it is revealed through much prayer and uh, study of the word and as you put time into the word and, and then the Holy Spirit and as you pray and look at that word he'll start revealing things to you now look one of the things I have found in studying the word of God is that uh, you can read the word and nothing might come to you as you're reading it but if you prayerfully read that word that word revelations can come after you've read it I often found in my own ministry throughout my life that um, as I've spent had my quiet time in the morning with God and read the word and prayed, I haven't had anything for the for the word that I was going to minister that night or for the evening service or for the Sunday service. But as I've been out doing stuff, the Holy Spirit started being revealing it to me as I've been going about my everyday tasks. And so it can come while you're there reading the word. It might not come then. It'll come while you're walking about or doing something. And so this is the same Holy Spirit of truth and revelation that will reveal to you in this end time prophecy. And so prophecy, the element of prophecy, is coming strong in these days. Why? Because we're in the end times. And Jesus is coming back soon. And, it, it, and, and there should be great emphasis on prophecy in these days. We need to understand what the scriptures are saying about the end times. The, the, the book of Revelation to many people is a closed book because they never open it and read it. You see, when you open the book of Revelation and you compare the scriptures with the other prophetic scriptures in the Bible, it goes all the way. You can run into Isaiah, compare it with Isaiah, Daniel, Ezekiel, Zechariah, and the other prophets in the Bible. It's all there. 
and then you start getting the picture. But it's no good saying, well, I don't understand Revelation, it's full of symbols and everything else. You need to open it up and look at it. And, and for all pastors today, they need to start to uh, minister on this and speak and prepare the church for what is coming. And uh, we, in this particular ministry, have got a very strong prophetic message. Uh, you know, we we have that gift operating through us. But the the gift of the of the prophet, the prophetic message. But you see, the spirit of prophecy is given to every born again believer if we don't switch off to it. And so, that's what Jesus said. And so, if you are willing to listen today, it says He will show you things to come. That's if you don't switch off. If I don't switch off, you can only receive from God if you're open to God and you're willing to learn. But if we're full of arguments and we're disputing all the time about the word of God and getting into arguments with the people, we'll not learn much because all spiritual truth is received by revelation from God and God will only reveal truth to the humble. He will not reveal it to the arrogant and the proud and the arrogant and the proud in the church of Jesus Christ will not grow. And if we're stubborn and we're conceited, we will not grow because we can't receive anything from God because there's no way that truth can enter that kind of uh, attitude. And so it says here, And I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, See that you do not do that. I am your fellow servant, and of your brethren, who have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So the Holy Spirit is here today, speaking to us. With Jesus is coming back soon. But many in the church today are not ready for what's coming. They're more taken up with entertainment, uh, wanting to hear stuff that pleased them, you know, everything that God's going to do. God's going to give you lots of money. God's going to bless you. God's going to do this and that for you. But they don't want to hear anything about the Antichrist. They don't want to hear anything about the European super state. They don't want to hear about end time judgments, the seal, the trumpet and the bowl judgments. And they don't want to hear, especially that the church of Christ, Jesus Christ, will enter through tribulation before the rapture. Uh, what they really want to hear is, uh, Lord, uh, 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 is to go to the latest big charismatic movement, to these great charismatic preachers, to be uh, the, the feel-good experience, and then up to the point of the rapture, which they think is going to happen at the beginning of the, uh, Daniel's uh, uh, the last week of Daniel's prophecy, the last seven years, and so at the beginning of that, uh, everybody's going to be raptured, and we're not going to see the Antichrist. We're not going to go through tribulation. We're not going to experience of any of these things that the Bible is speaking about the judgments of God, and uh, every, we'll all be happily live a happily ever after with Jesus, and so we'll continue to go to our uh, celebrations and enjoy all the great charismatic preachers up to that time, and and we won't suffer in any form of way. And we won't have to pay a price for what we believe in. But let's get real today. The Bible says that judgment begins with the house of God. And really we need to start to listen to the whole counsel of God and to listen to really what God is saying today. And um, so that we get the whole picture and we realise that the Bible says, speaks about the church entering into that period of tribulation. Why? Are we going to enter that period of tribulation? Well, I'm speaking about the last seven years now, and I'm saying the church will go through the first three and a half years. You see, everybody classes that last seven years as the great tribulation. Well, it will increase. We're in the days of tribulation, our birth pains, and it will become greater and greater. The first three and a half years is the tribulation. The last three and a half years is the wrath of God. And I believe midweek... That's halfway through, three and a half years through the last seven years, the church will be raptured. And during that period of time, we'll enter into greater tribulation. We will see the Antichrist, we'll experience the persecution of the Antichrist. And it will sift the chaff out from the wheat in the church of Jesus Christ. Those who are real and those who are not. So those of us are living off these great charismatic meetings, want to feel good all the time, bless me, bless me, Lord, just say all the things that I want to hear, will not be prepared for what's coming up. We need to take the whole counsel of God. If God corrects us over things, we need to be able to be humble enough to take direction, correction and direction from God so that we will be prepared for what is coming and so that we will be on the solid foundation of the rock of Christ Jesus so that when the storms come, the tribulation comes and it's coming, 
We'll not be shifted away and we'll not be thinking, what's happening to us? I really believe God would rapture me before us, but I'm going through tribulation. Look at the world, look at all that's happening. And the Antichrist has been revealed and I wasn't ready. That's right, because your minister didn't preach it to you. Because your pastor needs to wake up and start preaching these things. And because we all need to wake up and start listening. Because here it is in this Bible. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And that is the spirit that is coming through the message that I'm speaking to you today. The spirit of prophecy. Believe it, receive it and start to look into it and start to be open to God and be teachable. The unteachable will not grow and we will not see what's coming ahead. We won't see clearly. For those that have been taught, those that are listening, we, we are seeing clearly what is happening in the world today in relation to prophetic scriptures. So thank you for listening today.